through the vlog. Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing? Hello, Bachelor family, and welcome back to the vlog channel. Let's get today started. All right, y'all, we are in the bathroom, and we're going to get ready for the day. Um, I'm, like, really excited to try a name food. Like, really excited. Let's hope that you guys do not fall off of my mirror because I literally have y'all propped up on my skincare thing with the ring light like on the camera. So we're just gonna try to get ready as fast as we can so that way we don't drop you guys because you guys that hurt y'all. Give y'all like a little headache or something. Anyways, all the products that I use are linked down below as well as this outfit. These are uh, American Eagle like jeans and then this top is from Beachy. It's so cute. It's like a like sweater but it's a tank top at the same time. It's giving cute because it's green and pink, and I'm in my green and pink era, okay? We love to see it. Yes, we do. I personally never ate Indian food before, so I'm really excited to try it out. There's a little hole in the wall place that one of my friends goes to, and then I asked you guys over on Facebook. If you don't follow me on Facebook, I'm going to put it right here. You guys go follow me on Facebook. I'm there 24-7. Like, that's where I stay up at midnight and tell you guys, like, all my thoughts. And like we talk about all of our intrusive thoughts and we just like chat over all of our weird things that we like to do, you know? We're besties over there. If you're on Facebook, you're my bestie. Comment down below because you're my bestie. Um, but anyways, we have always wanted to try Indian food because I get stuck on um, like food TikTok mukbangs every single night before bed. And then every single night before bed, I think I'm starving. <gasps> I forgot to put on my headband. It's not the same unless I have this on. Hold on, pause. There we go. Much better. But anyways, I get stuck on like mukbang TikToks every single night before bed. And it's horrible because I'm like, I should DoorDash or, oh, I need that. And I'm like, girl, you just ate dinner like two hours ago. You're not hungry. You don't need it. But then every day the next day, I think about the food that I watch and I usually don't act upon it. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. And today I was like, you know what? I need to try new things. I need to try things I've never tried before. And that includes Indian food and I've never tried it. And I have a lot of mixed reviews. Like a lot of people said like if you, that like, they didn't like it, but they were like, definitely try it out because you might love it. And the thing is, is I love to try different things and try different people's things that they love because I'm sure somebody tries food that I eat and they don't like it, but it's still good to try it and try new things. I think I'm gonna like it because I love non bread. Actually, Gabe's obsessed with non bread. Like, he loves non bread. He would rather eat non bread over garlic bread. So, I know that we'll like that. And I like spices. I like spicy food. I like Thai food. I've been to a place called Nara Thai. If you live in my area, you should try it out. They have this thing called bagel. I'm not bagel rice. Bagel rice. They have this thing called basil rice. And it's like this spicy Thai food. Like, it tastes almost like a um, fried rice, but it's not at all the same on the same level. It's like way better. And it's like really, really spicy. And like, you have the choice to like pick your spice level and stuff. So I'm wondering if Indian food's kind of like the same. I don't know. I don't know anything. I recently got the Rare Beauty Contouring Stick and their blush. I learned the hard way with this stuff. A little bit goes a long way. So you might be thinking, that's not even that much. No, girl. I looked like I had mud on my face whenever I did it the first time. And I'm still trying to learn how to blend it. If you have any tips, let me know. I've just been like patting it and blending it up, if that makes sense, like this. And then I'll do the top after so I can make sure that I have enough. And you can hear the doodles playing because they love to play. Just do a little right there. You have to make the noise or else it won't be the same. If you have dogs and you know, they always like to play. Like when you're on the phone, they're like, oh, we're going to play right now and we're going to bark and we're going to talk to each other because right now Bruiser's in a little stance like he's about to prance at Moosey and Moosey's in a little stance like he's about to prance at Bruiser and then Kirby just watches them like she's a smart girl like, she's super smart. Got the Rare Beauty blush. I have the shade Bliss. I thought it was a sparkly one but it's actually a matte one which is fine. Um, I would just prefer a little bit more of a glow with it but a little bit of this goes a long way too. Like I feel like I just put way too much but i am a blush girly so i think it will be okay um i have been wanting to get into more cream products because i'm in my natural skincare glowy 
little phase right now. I know that everybody on TikTok's doing it, but I feel like I'm a little bit late to the game. I've been so like obsessed with skincare and having a glowing face and just being like super natural. Hence the lashes are off. Hence I'm not a beach blonde anymore. Well, I'm not a blonde anymore, not by my choice, but now that I'm not anymore, I'm glad that I'm not, if that makes sense. But then some days I want to go back, but it's just like one of those like things, you know, it's just, it's just a thing. Another one of my new favorite products that I got from Sephora. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's super stringy and it's almost like a glue. It's Patrick Ta. Someone said like Patrick Ty, but it says T-A, so I don't want to like pronounce it wrong. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the product and you're going to like brush your brow like the wrong way. And then you're going to brush it back up the up way and it's going to give you that effect of like the bushy laminated brows, which I actually think I like. I don't know. I feel like I'm just like in a new era, okay? Like... She's discovering her era, okay? Fit Fan Fest Mascara. It's brand new. Whenever I went and got it, they had said it was like super new. And I'm obsessed with it. But then before I used to get like my lash extensions, I was obsessed with this Essence one. It was literally $3. And then I went to get it the other day and it was like $10. And I was like, 8th grade Drew is screaming right now because this used to be like $3. But anyways, it's okay. I thought I would try out one-on-one, -on -one, you know what I'm saying? Because like I love this one. Like I'm obsessed with this one. And then I used to be obsessed with this one. But now I'm looking at the brush. It's not what I love anymore. Like it's one of these types of brushes. And then the Fan Fest is like the curved, super separating, like, oh my gosh. Love her love the summer fridays lip butter oh my gosh it is like the lip mask from laneige or laneige but you can wear it like a lipstick it's not like it's going to dry into your lips like a mask it's just like the perfect color and then i also really love my um tarte marriage i call it marriage Kichi. these are my tarte marriage Kichi um little lip glosses lipsticks gabe messed mine up if you follow me on tiktok then you know about TikTok. Okay. So my page, whenever you get to a certain amount of followings, you get like people that don't like you, they're always going to sit there and report your page, right? Well, mine got reported a ton. And every time it gets reported, like repeatedly, they just take my page down and then they say they're going to review my page to make sure that there's no harmful things going on because they got multiple reports. Literally, it says it's going to be a seven day ban. Then I literally get my account back in two days, right? I get my account back, right? And on my side, I can see all my videos. All my videos are there. There's nothing wrong on my side. But when you look up my old account, there's only one video from like 2021 from like last Christmas or something. I don't even know when it was. And it's so confusing because like on my side, I see all my videos and all my things. But then like if you look me up, like if I went on my other account and look myself up or like my followers look me up, it's literally one video. So I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to tag my new TikTok up here for you guys. I have a 2.0 and that's just going to be my new main account because I literally don't know what's wrong with TikTok. Like it's just so stinking confusing. I have no idea like what they're problem is with me but like I literally they always give me my account back because I don't do anything wrong that's the thing that like my people that don't like me they're like ha you got banned again and then I get my account back and they're like oh well you must have done something wrong to get banned like you don't just get banned for nothing I'm like yes I do because but yeah we love that for me also do y'all see these lashes they look great this is without anything done to my lashes I've had three years worth of damage from um extensions and look at this i feel like my lashes like that is amazing like i love this mascara benefit you did something with this because i used to be a fan of the roller lash but no this this is the tea this one all right so my mascara is done but i'm gonna go over it with this mascara and just see what it gives me see if it gives me any like vavoom Volume. It didn't. It just made them a little bit darker, which is fine with me. Alright, I just did some light curls, brush them out, and then here is the fit. If you want anything that I ever show, on the very first comment, so go to the comment section right now. Let's go to the comment section. Okay, you're there. Now, the first comment that is pinned, I'm going to have everything categorized. My shirt, my shorts, my makeup, my hair stuff. Everything that you see in a video that you like, want to see, 
comment it and I'll link it if you want the mirror. If you want this beautiful plant, let me know and I'm gonna link it for you guys. I've been trying to do better at that because y'all are always asking me for links and I always do the absolute worst at that. So I was like, you know what? Starting a new leaf, I'm gonna be better at doing that. So yeah, this is from Vici. This is from American Eagle. And then my hair is, um, the curling iron that I use is a Paul Mitchell one. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it, I think, even from Ulta. Um, but I'll have it linked from Amazon and Ulta, which one you want to buy from, you can do. But yeah, this is the fit. Let's go try some Indian food. Okay, y'all, this is how dedicated I am to this mukbang and trying to be a mukbanger because I literally love the video so much. So a long time ago, when I got, well, not a long time ago, about a year ago when I got my wisdom teeth taken out, my husband bought me this like food tray to eat on. My husband, Gabe, bought it for me. Um, and so I used it to lay in bed and eat my food because I didn't feel well. And so I found it and I was like, we're gonna do a car mukbang of the Indian food and it's gonna be so fun. I'm excited. Mind you, we are literally going at 10 o'clock. It is currently 9.43 a.m. and we're going this early in the morning because I'm hungry for lunch already and I'm so excited. So and we've been up since early. We've been, been up since, since like 5 a.m. Yeah, so. I've been up since like 4.45. So let's go. Let's go. Also, I have a question. Whenever I was growing up, we always use the garage as like our front door. And then I feel like here at our house, we use our front door as our front door. But like when I was growing up, my parents always used the garage as the in and out. And then I feel like with you, we always use the front door because your parents don't use your garage because your garage is like has full, stuff, of full of stuff. <laughs> and so I find it weird that like we go out the front door, but then we usually go out the garage door because our garage is like clean. We can walk through it. A lot of, most of the times, a lot of the times I do go through the garage door. I know. We'll open the garage and go through the garage. It's just weird. I don't know. What do you guys use? Do you use your front door or do you use your garage door? Okay. Also, we're going to head to Starbucks. There's actually a drink I want to try, which is kind of funny. This is weird. I know. I, I actually really like pink drinks, believe it or not. And I saw this video on TikTok. You get the, the uh, is it chocolate cold foam? Yes. On top of the pink drink. And apparently it makes it taste like a chocolate covered strawberry. So we're going to get a chocolate covered strawberry pink drink. So... I'm actually really excited. Let's go! Let's go. We get a, a, a medium pinkity drinkity with the cold, uh, the, that chocolate cold foam on top. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Yeah. That's gonna do me in. Okay, it's gonna be six seventy one. Thank you. You said yeah. Yeah. Excited. All right, so it looks like the chocolate foam got mixed in, but that's okay. Little pinkity drinkity with the chocolate foam. Let's give this a daggone taste test, boys and girls. Let's stop right here. Let's give this a little taster. Is it good? That's okay. crazy. Here. Yo, that that tastes like a chocolate covered strawberry. Bruh. Well, so we got the food. We went into here. It's actually inside of a gas station. And so we thought they were just gonna like give it to us or whatever y'all it literally took like 40 minutes the guy made it while we were sitting there so it smells so good it's so fresh and he literally we watched him make it as we were waiting for the food so like i am so excited all right so this is so funny i feel like i'm like a legit mukbanger i would like the butter chicken because it's super creamy oh my gosh this so we have amazing. the rice it's Hot. So a lot of the people that like do the mukbangs, they say it's always like There's hot. Butter chicken. It's really hot. Here's the curry chicken. So Gabe got curry chicken, and the guy said that it's super spicy. Okay. Yeah! This smells amazing. All right. So first, I want to open up the rice because some people said there was cloves in it. I think ours are just plain. I, I think ours eat. is regular rice. Yeah, it's just regular. There's no cloves in it, so maybe you have to ask for that. I think they called the bismati rice or something. Yeah, this is hot. I did not believe them on the the mukbangs when they said that it was like the steam of it was really hot. Ooh, All right, I'm excited that. to smell it. Honestly, it smells good. It smells really good. It smells amazing. It smells very good, you guys. But it is. Hot. And that sucker, they had that sucker in like a walk looking thing, like on fire. Is today Wednesday? Uh, no. Hmm, why does it say Wednesday on it? I think it was just the lid. I saw them make them both fresh. That smells spicy. That's that like, smells like a uh, pho. Oh, that smells good. That smells like pho. Right here. 
a little bit of rice action. Look how long the grain of these rice are. Like, they're like really long grain rice. Look at this. Oh. Garlic naan. Okay, here. You ready? Oh, yeah. I'll take a rip. Let's dip it in the butter chicken. And let's try the butter chicken one first. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Dink it. Let's do it. That is fire. Wow. 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 I like that. That is fire. Give me one more dip of that. I am pleasantly shocked and surprised. That is delicious. That is freaking stinking fire, dude. That is bomb. I am impressed. Wow. Oh. Um, that is delicious. Oh my gosh. Try a piece of that chicken. <laughs> is hot? Gabe. I'm gonna try this curry. You gonna try a piece of this curry? Mm, hot. There you go. I don't mind. I'm, I'm honestly kind of scared to try curry. Y'all. Yeah. We're about to find out. New favorite food unlocked. This is awesome. Let's try that curry. Ready? I dripped it. I'm sorry. That's fine. All right. This is the spicy curry. Let's do it. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is delicious. This is fire. Yo. I'm surprised. Why have we never had Indian food? Um, I'm gonna try the chicken. This is delicious. Have you had a piece of chicken yet? Mm -mm -mm. Guys, mm. honestly, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of haters, like, whenever they're doing mukbangs, a lot of people are like, it's so gross. This is so good. I like the curry a little bit better. I do too. The, cu the curry is so good. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mm. This is delicious. This? Fire. This is delicious. Wow. Mmm. 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 I am very impressed. Very satisfied. This is everything that I wanted and more. Wow. This is delicious. The only thing is, I wish I had more naan. I know. I wish I had some more naan. All right, so what do you think? Like, what do you rate it? Rate it? Mm hmm. What's down with him? This is literally 100 out of 100, guys. This is amazing. This is fire. And I didn't think I was going to like it. Honestly, I was worried. I was, I was too. I was scared that. Because a lot of people, you know, there's there's quite a few people that are like, it's not, you know, what you think. It tastes like pho. This is good. Your taste like pho. It does have a pho taste to it, like the broth. Yeah. Pho. So I have a friend that can literally eat this every day. Mm. She comes to this exact place all the time talks about it so much she said she ate it like every day for like a whole month straight then i have another friend that literally told me how gross it is and how like she can't even smell curry powder because she doesn't like the way it tastes but this to me it's delicious it's so good and that that tastes like pho mm -hmm. like creamy pho so guys this is a win in my book i will definitely be back mm. especially this place give me wow. handmade Right in front of us. Super nice people. So nice. Like, we didn't know what we were getting. And he could tell we were, like, confused. And he said, do you like spicy? And Gabe was like, yeah, I like spicy food. And he was like, okay, you're going to get curry chicken. And she's going to get butter chicken because it's creamy. And then he put, like, extra cream on top. Which I think is normal, but I haven't seen it in other people's. I, I'm just going to mm. assume he did for me because I feel special. And, uh, <laughs> and he said, get them. It's good. Delicious. Mm. Honestly, Exceeded my expectations. Me too. And it was like, it wasn't cheap. Not gonna lie, it wasn't no, cheap. Was not cheap. But I spend that money again. I would. I would spend it. I really, I really want to try tiki masala. Mmm. 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 You mm. try the chicken? It's tender. Yours is good. You like mine better? Yours is fire, bro. Eat some of mine. I just did. Mmm. But it is spicy. Yeah. That will kick up. It's good though. Mmm. Try my chicken. Yeah, I'm try your chicken. Okay. I'm eating it how I saw the videos. They don't mix it. And then someone else said that you don't eat. Like I saw. Mm -hmm. I was watching a lot of videos on it, and somebody said that it's offensive to eat the rice, chicken, and it's at the same time. So a girl was eating it like this, mm -hmm. and someone commented and said that like. 
You're not supposed to do that? That's offensive. Yeah, that's offensive. So, we're not doing that. Mm. And then, after that, the square water. Mm. If you've never tried Indian food, get your booty out there and go, and try, go it. try it. There's a, there's a lot of foods that I've never tried that I would love to try. I love, I've had Thai food once, but I want to go back and try it again because I wasn't as open-minded to it. Yeah. I was scared to try it. I think, mean, used to you were a lot more picky. Now, I think you're a lot more open-minded to foods. Not just that. There's like a certain, like, smell that a certain, like, food gives off. And I don't like that smell. And so when I smell it, I'm like, I don't want to try it. And then when we went to that place called Nora Thai, um, everything was spicy. So back then, I didn't know that you could ask for different, like spice levels and so it was really spicy and i was like turned off because everything you got was spicy yeah and so i was like i'm not eating this it's spicy so which one's your favorite the curry really yeah it's got it's got the spice i like i would eat this all day long though i just like the curry slightly better than the butter chicken but i would order that the curry the chicken is spicy though yeah it's got a kick but guys the the tenderness of this chicken you want to be in the video i'm trying to the with you no 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 the tenderness of the chicken, though, is amazing. It, it, it melts in your mouth, and the flavor is just phenomenal. The only thing I don't like is we don't have enough naan. I can go in there and get some more naan. I know, it's okay, though. Hey, also, guys, this is kind of on the same subject. Naan from Costco, you can buy a whole bag of that naan from Costco, and it so is right. phenomenal. And now, I want to go to Trader Joe's, because everyone say the Trader Joe's has a curry and uh, this. Really? And you can buy it and make it. So it's Costco and so it's H-E-B. I didn't know that. So I thought, what if you guys comment down below, do you want us to go to Costco, H-E-B, and Trader Joe's and compare them all to the real deal? I'm down. Me too. I'm down. This is good. Mm. Mm. So guys, this is going to be a new series we're going to be doing of trying like different foods. So we tried Philippine, is it? Oh yeah. We tried Philippine, is it? Philipp I think it was Filipino. The, um... That was um Jollibee. Was Jollibee. So we tried Jollibee. That was really good. And then now we tried this. I want to go and try actual Filipino food. Like actually eat their dinners. and You know what I'm saying? Not just like fried chicken. I want to try their like cuisine. I agree. And so we're going to try to find something like that. And then I'm, I really want to go to a bougie Indian restaurant now. Me too. There's a gas station. It's fire. I want to go to a bougie one now. I'm going to try something crazy. Yeah. Hmm. That. Also wouldn't mind trying um. I want to try mm. foo foo and goosey. I don't. <laughs> I know you don't. I'm not going to lie, I don't. Because it's offensive if you eat it the wrong way. And I don't want to upset anyone. Oh, yeah. So you're talking about like they say you're not supposed to chew it and stuff? Yeah, and I don't want to upset anyone, you know? Yeah, I agree. I want to be, res be respectful. So, you can try it. I can video you trying it. But I don't want to try it. Mmm. Guys, now I can see why. A bunch of people have leftovers. This is a lot. You think, oh, this is not a lot of food. This is a lot of food because it's thick. And I was also reading that um, you don't need to eat that much because with the bread and the rice and stuff. But because it's so thick and creamy and hearty, it's like very, very filling. And I love how you dip it like this. And then you just eat the rice like that. Yep. Mm. Delicious. So good. I let my chicken cool off in there. I kind of like the flavor of yours but i wish it was the creaminess of mine mm, yeah mm, this, is good. this is phenomenal this is what gabe's looks like mine's more like a yours legit smells like yeah there you go here yours legit smells like pho and if you've ever had pho it's that like flavor you can't describe mm. but yours is spicy mm, mm. i like yours Mine is delicious. Honestly, guys. You like mine better? No. I, it's two different flavors. It is two different flavors. Honestly, guys, I'm really full. I'm going to have one more bite. I'm going to save the rest for later. Which is crazy because I'm actually getting really full, too. I'm full, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm yeah. going to do a dip of my stuff. A little dip of yours. Come on. And then dip it in the rice. We do that, too? Yeah. Mm. Good. Give me your fork. Yours is spicy. I got a kick to it. It has a big kick to it. The creaminess, the creaminess, wow. the spiciness. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's phenomenal. Mm. Mm. Y'all, I love this. I will 
Honestly, I'll be back. New favorite food. I'm not even this gonna lie amazing. to you. It's I guess because like you eat the same things over and over again. Chick fil A. It's a completely different flavor. It's a completely different flavor and it's amazing. Now when we reheat it, I'm not gonna heat it in the microwave. I'm gonna do it in the stove. stove. But Gabe, feel how hot this still is. That is hot. I want to know how they get it to stay so hot. Like, what is it that makes it stay so warm? Because mm -hmm. everybody on the mukbangs talks about how warm their stuff is, and I'm like, the, the rice is still hot, too. Oh, that's all I can say is, wow. I honestly, guys, I was excited to try it because of all the mukbangs me and Drew were watching last night. I was really excited to try it, and I was like, I want to... I like trying new stuff, but also I don't. Drew doesn't, but we like. It's also kind of nerve wracking because you're like, you know, I just got this and I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Like, what if you it's spend thirty bucks on yeah, it? Yeah, you spend like thirty bucks on it. You're like, ooh, what if it's like not good? But guys, surpassed expectations by a lot. Absolutely delicious. If you've never tried Indian food, guys, safe option. Like Drew said, go with butter chicken. That stuff is phenomenal. If you like spicy, I got a curry chicken. A spicy curry chicken and it is phenomenal flavors completely different but they are both absolutely you delicious. drop the location i'll drop the location tell them where we're at guys this is at a gas station we are in baytown texas this it's called rice bowl of india on grubhub but you can walk in and it said that the taqueria but it's actually an indian food place which is pretty crazy because we walked in i was like maybe they closed down because it said taqueria but when you walk up it's Indian food yeah. and it is phenomenal guys the guy cut up the chicken cooked the chicken put it in the Mixed all the sauces and the seasonings and made the food they, fresh their, their fryer is down right now though So if you do come they don't have stuff to make samosas, but we're gonna come back and get a samosa because We will be back to get a samosa <clears throat> when the fryer is back up and running But as far as the main course also, goes look at this me and Gabe pretty much ate this I mean I have a I have more than you left but guys it is so filling that you don't even need we could have probably shared one of these and had leftovers literally like, I'm literally like oh my gosh I'm, I'm full stuffed. We, and I was starving I, I was too I really want extra non bread next time I will next definitely time, ask for that I will get extra non bread yes they only gave us two pieces which is of course two pieces one per person but like bro I, I need like four I, mean, I was like I need like three uh, for myself guys the non is absolutely incredible and their non was thin I'm used to thicker non yeah, the non that we got from Costco was thicker and it was delicious yeah but that non was very very good and I like how flaky it was it was thin but still flaky and really good so out of the two which one was your favorite curry chicken spicy curry chicken or Okay, I feel like they're completely different. They're I could, not even the same bracket. I could feel myself craving this at one point and then craving this at one point. I would order either one. I would, the more I ate yours, the more it was like so much flavor. It was like bursting in my mouth. Tons of flavor. I needed something like this to kind of the mellow creamy, it out. Yeah. This was so creamy and so good. And this kind of, they said it's like a tomato base. So to me, it's kind of like... Like, not a tomato sauce. It did not taste like tomato sauce No, it did not taste like tomato sauce. But this one was more, it tastes like pho to me. It was like a spicy Yeah, pho. I know what you're saying. You're, you're talking about that that kind of like that meat flavor yeah. slash like that um, undertone of like the spicy of the of the, of the pho. What, guys, and me and Drew both know that, and, and, and there's going to be people that comment this. This is why I'm explaining this. We know pho and Indian food are completely, it just reminds me. completely different things. We know that. Even if it didn't have the same ingredients, from our experience, it and I agree, it does have similar flavor notes. And that's what that's really the one of the only things we've tried that have had that flavor. So Drew made that connection in her mind. I wonder if people can comment down below what that flavor is. Yeah. So we, I can know. Maybe it's a season that you both. And I'm not I don't want to upset anyone. I know that this isn't pho. It yeah, just right. tastes like that. It ha it has that same it has an undertone of the same flavor profile. It's delicious. It's it's absolutely amazing. People are gonna be like, "How is that like pho?" But it, I know what you're saying. It's there, like a flavor. There was a flavor mixed in with all the other flavors. Also, that I'm obsessed that. with pho too. The first time I tried it, I didn't like it that hey, much. But that's another thing we've tried, but we haven't tried on camera. We might have to no, try it on camera. No, we have to go. I love. Okay, I love <laughs> spicy shrimp pho. It, it is, is so my good. favorite. Well, but also the place also, by our house does a really good job. And at I it. also love the uh just plain pho no Ooh, meat so just good. sriracha in it oh my god i'm a chili sauce man in mine that's what it is that. yes but you know what's crazy is like you try these things and you think like you want like even your dad tried pho and loved he it. liked it he was like this is good and, and my dad guys my dad he is the most he's just yeah, a very roast and rice like co country eating he eats more like country foods like he likes Hamburgers? No, he likes roast, roast, meat patties, and hamburgers and hot dogs. Like that's and gravy, me. and gravy, rice and gravy, and fried chicken. But me and your dad are the same. We both like rice and gravy. Yeah, y'all like that home style, that home style yeah. food. Yeah, but uh, guys, I'm literally obsessed with this. I I, I, I want to eat it. I'm, I'm ready to be hungry again, so I can eat it again. I literally was thinking, and I love. I want to know why is it so hot. I wonder if it has something to do with like the consistency of it. Maybe it I holds wonder, heat better. But like, but it's, it is still like burn, burn your hand, burn your hand, burn, hot. burn your hand hot. 
Oh my gosh, I feel like we ate it so fast because we were so excited. I know, and, now, and, I, and now I'm like, oh, I want to like enjoy it more. But we're going to take it home, and later on when we get Michael hungry again. It. Oh, Michael, I feel like Michael would really like both I of them. I feel like he would like this one. He'd like the spicy one. I think so too. But guys, absolutely delicious. 10 out of 10. Can't recommend it Rice Bowl of more. India, a million out of 10. The service was amazing. Awesome. The guy was so sweet. I, I will, yeah, dude was awesome. I would definitely come back here and try all kinds of stuff. Honestly, I've tried uh, lamb one time. It was at Fogo de Chao, remember, <laughs> in San Antonio. I don't like lamb. Sorry, I guys. would try it. I would try it in this sauce. How tender, tender. How, how tender that chicken okay, was. I'm not going to lie. Whenever I was watching the videos and people were just like, like the chicken was melting in their mouth. I was like, there's no way. There's no way. That chicken's not going to melt in your mouth. It melts guys, in your mouth. That chicken, I literally was like, okay, like just like Drew said, and, and, and it was like dissolved in my mouth. And I was like, yo. This is so good. So good. So next time I want to try tiki masala. Tiki I want to try yellow curry. I've never had yellow. Let's curry. Let's try it. Um, and then with I, non. With non. Extra and then, non. And then I want to try. Uh, I do really want to try that like that lamb dish that one girl eats. I really want to try. That. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a try. And I really want to try samosas too. We're we'll gonna try samosas. And then also, guys, if you have any recommendations yes. of, of different kinds of foods that in you want Houston us to try, in the Houston area, any restaurants in the Houston area, because Houston's food is very diverse. There's yeah. all different kinds of food genres, so to speak. A lot of different cultures and a lot of just some awesome stuff. Me and Drew would absolutely love to do a whole series, which this is the beginning of this, of going around the area and trying all kinds of different uh, different groups of food from all over the world. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and like and comment down below where we should go next. We love y'all so much, and we'll see you on the next one. Guys, see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye, friends.